Right, good morning YouTube. This video is just showing real simple and quick how you can use a stun gun. This is the stun gun I made in my video yesterday. Um, if you use a stun gun it's already on, you can power a flyback transformer with it. Um, it's got a 3.7 lithium, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery in there. So I thought that was pretty neat that you can power it um, off of 3.7 volts. Not sure how long it would work if you like try to play with it for a long time. And I also got shocked through that button, so I'm going to be using these pliers to push the button. But let's see, I'll show a little bit more real fast. We've got these two wires; they're not touching. That's the spark gap. So basically, this is a DC high voltage output, and to make it like an AC or a pulse DC, I put a spark gap so that every time the power jumps, a spark gap. It provides another pulse to the primary coil. And then I've got the, I've got a wire soldered onto the negative output for the high voltage side of the uh, flyback. The positive side, I have connected right to the side of that CFL. The negative side is just like hanging there. So, all right, Jessica, if you don't want to be in the video, move. Yeah. Or you could hold my camera. You want to hold this and just show what happens when I push the button. So we've got a high voltage side hooked up right here to the CFL. It's most likely just going to arc to this from the ground and light this up. So it's going to be cool. So let's see what kind of distance I can do. I wonder. Nope, too far. Oh, I got this gap too far, I think. Let's see. Arcing on the inside of the transformer right here. But yeah, as you can see, there's a, there's a little spark gap going over here. There's another spark going right there. Watch out. There. That needs to be insulated. <laughs> Alright, but I just thought that was cool. You can 